YouTube family, guess what? Me am on a mission this trip. Yeah, it's not very often me feel a need to do a follow up video. But this is one of them few occasions when me think it necessary. Based on the reaction and some of the additional information that came forth since we do the video. This is the video about the girl clown youth up on you. Yeah. Everybody know that notorious story they know. Still topical, everybody still a talk, talk about it. Still a try man over them way about the atrocities that took place up at the university campus with this particular youth and him, I think ex-girlfriend it ought to be by the, at this point. So, some of the reaction though. First of all, the thing that stood out to me, even from the comments right here on this channel, when we talk about the thing. We never get to the gory details, but the whole world know the gory details of what happened now. Yeah? The reaction of some of the people right here on the YouTube channel, it had me flabbergasted. I don't lie. Because when I time it starts, because sometimes I don't skim down the comments and nobody respond, you know. Sometimes, you know, when I see something that provoke me for your response, we make a response. But in this particular case, me that skim down the comments and I listen you know, and I listen what people, are, well, I read, sorry, I read what people had to say about, what I, I had to say about the incident itself. And I was flabbergasted that so many people seem to be finding a way to explain a way or to shift the blame or to not to totally blame the young man for what he knows. It's almost like there was this kind of sophisticated attempt for, for, for widen the blame as some kind of societal malfunction rather than who, who is supposed to be an intelligent youth accountable for him own actions. So it probably, if we come back up to that, in a one of the discussions we made it up on another social media platform, one of the persons that I was interacting with, the, 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 it was positive that boy, as I'm coming out of this incident, we should learn lessons about toxic masculinity and how it affects the behavioral patterns of, of the, the current youths in the world and in Jamaica. So me didn't actually take on that, that, that one day. When me see me couldn't, me couldn't resist it. So me did kind of start asking, what do you mean by toxic? First thing me start asking, what do you mean by toxic masculinity? Yeah. It's a term we don't to quite understand. Anyway, I know if you care if you understand. From somebody did tell me one day when I asked him that question, they tell me, say, masculinity in and of itself is toxic. We don't want to entertain our discussion about that issue again. Can we see where it did go? Anyway, that aside now, this particular person was positing that, you know, there's this wider issue of toxic masculinity, why these kind of things happen. And these kids need to be socialized or re-socialized. You know, away from what is happening now and what is passing as as the kind of behavioral norms that are one bag up give her a shit up. So me take the man and say, boss, what are you saying to me? This youth I need to socialize. For you no know, say a girl with game born, a 19-year-old girl with game born as a 20-year-old youth. And if the girl even game born, we have to re-socialize him for him no say I read that thing him keep up. A girl clown thing him keep up. Physically assault the girl occasionally him by the arm. Eh? That is what I do. And if this youth did come from down a buck to, or down a two mile, or down a Tivoli, or down a jungle, or down a Walter, or one of them in a city garrison, down a Rima, down a Rose Town, would you all be having this kind of philosophical approach? Eh? Because it has since emerged that this youth is an uptown youth, you know? Yeah? For you from a prominent family, you know. So because it's the, I mean, that's why I'm here telling you, you know, one of the biggest problems in the Jamaica is classism, you know. Simple as you see it, you know, people. One of the most, inter look here, one of the most, it is it is a terrible problem, you know. You know, they're up front in your face like that, you know. But it, it underlines every single major fundamental issue we have in Jamaica when it comes to justice, you know. Classism, you know. We shouldn't matter if this youth did come from the Arima or a Drewstone or a Jungle. So, every one of them people we are try to be philosophical about it. We don't want to lock him and dash with the key and burn him at the stakes. But that's so we stay in Jamaica. Because he's an uptown, high color youth. And he come from a prominent family. Also, 
pretty intelligent, you know. He's a university student. See? So because of all of them dynamics, you know, we start to offer all kind of philosophical explanation for what happened. But we don't blame the youth for what happened. Or even if we don't get blamed, it's a kind of soft blame. One of the comments I mean, on, my, on my YouTube channel was that uh, Maverick, who is teaching these youths how to behave? Yes, I will not. So them youths are not have parents. Them youths are never go high school, you know. He never go prep school and go high school and to the level where we reach a university. He need for anyone in a specialized course to tell him how to interact with woman. I say, woman, can give him blood? And if woman even give him blood, what he ought to do and what he ought not to do? And he does not know right from wrong? I tell you, you know, Jamaica is a, them say Jamaica is not a real place, you know. A them so yeah, you know, people. If this youth was a garrison youth with something like that, they would have lynch him. The same upper class mob would have lynch him. Verbally, they probably would lynch him literally, you know. But they would have lynch him verbally. And say, see what I mean? That's why I would have tell my picking up to don't go down and them pay so mix up with us. So they would have deal with it. If it was a youth from a different class of Jamaica. But it turned out that youth is a, this youth is an uptown youth now. So they were coming with all kind of philosophical gibberish and doing everything, you know, except ask for the hardline treatment where this youth is supposed to receive. Hey? When you look upon the things we're happening, you know, the, the video out there, you know, the video of the girl out there, you see what the youth do to the girl, you know, people. Hey? What you tell me, you know? How toxic masculinity now? How is that masculinity in any form? If you do what that you do to that girl, how toxic masculinity come on? You hear anybody we have a champion toxic mas masculinity as them call it? A, 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 a suggest that is how man do woman when them give them blood? All of them will find an excuse for the youth. Eh? These are the Jamaica we have to survive in and we have to walk up and down and hold a straight face, you know. And a man like me will like smile and carry a pleasant disposition. This is the place where me have to carry, smile every day and carry a pleasant disposition, you know. But there are some dirty belly issues in Jamaica, you know, people. Yeah, there are some dirty underbelly issues in Jamaica where if you, if, if you don't mind sharp, you get angry at this, you know. Real angry at this, you know, people. When the thing come out, I will see what the youth do. You know? And instead of people come out with a wholesale condemnation of where the youth do, a lot of these bright intellectuals, you know, are explaining away the youth, you know, are explaining away what the youth, you know, and have tried some kind of psychological, he needs some psychological help. And he, he, he me, me, me just listen to one discussion this just short, just short a while ago. Say, was there a psychological evaluation done of this? You what kind of what I come tell me, sir? You know, what tell me, say, is a mad youth at that time defense. Hmm? Is a jealous girl clown? That's what the youth is a jealous girl clown who made the little girl spin him head like a gig. Yeah. And because they don't know for <laughs> because, because they don't know. <laughs> Watch ya. Me almost I get upset in a man. I mean I like get upset in a man. Anyway, just tell me one thing about me. As me said, this is a this is a follow-up video. I mean sometimes you know when me see, when you see me get me get incentivized to do a follow-up video, you know, so the feeling strong. When we see the people in my deal with the case, you know, and all the common narrative. You know, in a in a certain circles about the case, you know, the people are blamed. Everybody except the youth, you know. You soon see some of them come out, come start saying, "Are the girl to be blamed?" And that you, you soon hear some of them start saying, "No." Me, and as we say, if I'm gonna leave this video, no one more time, you know, just ponder this, cause at Jamaica we live. If this youth was from another socio-economic strata at this society, would the reaction be the same? Your guess is as good as mine. You know what my guess is? <laughs> Maverick out. Ja, ja. <laughs> What's it? Toxic masculinity. Make the man take thing and one of the girl. <laughs> Toxic.
close eye on the man going up, people. <laughs> Don't imagine if I your daughter or your sister. Hmm? Anyway, they want to think about it.